Good morning, everybody. Um, listen, first things first. I've been through a lot, you know. Enough to realize that every day I wake up is a blessing. You feel me? Every day that you wake up is a blessing. So the first thing you ought to do when you wake up in the morning is you need to just thank the Lord for waking you up this morning. If y'all woke up this morning, just say thank you, Lord, in the comment section because you didn't have to wake up this morning. You feel me? You didn't have to. He didn't have to wake you up this morning. You could have still been asleep, deep sleep. But you up, you here, you watching this video. So give God some praise in the comment section. I want to hear y'all say, thank you, Lord. I want to see y'all type it in there. It might seem like something simple, but it's really a big deal to a lot of people. But let's go see this bathroom, y'all. I need to show y'all something in this bathroom. Um, Let me flip this camera around. And so y'all can see what I did to the shower curtain look at the shower curtain rod up there remember it was white and dull i just spray painted it with some metallic silver spray paint and as you can see this spot right here when i took the shower curtain down when i took the shower curtain down it pulled some of the paint off the wall but i the reason why i took the shower curtain down is because i wanted to paint it for one and for two, I, I needed to move it up because y'all see how, you know, when I had painted, I went over the top. But that ain't no big deal to me. I mean, hey, I ain't gonna lose no sleep over that. But I needed to move the shower curtain up. As you can see, it's just thrown up there any kind of which way right now because I'm taking this curtain down. See how far I had to move it up based on that spot on the wall right there. And I moved the shower curtain up a couple inches because, because I wanted some height in the bathroom. So, I know the ceiling is a mess. I tried to fix that when I first came here with some stuff, but it just didn't work. But it's better than what it was. Uh, that's how high it is up off the floor now. It was touching the floor. It's a 76 inch in length shower curtain. So... I moved it up. That's the rug I just got for the bathroom, for the new style bathroom. I think I might need to get another rug because one ain't going to be enough. But anyway, the shower curtain I bought is like 84 inches. And I wanted to get some height in the bathroom. You know, because I thought it would look like better if I got a longer shower curtain. But I don't know. Okay, y'all. So, I know it's taking me a while to do my bathroom, but listen... It's been taking me, I've been literally doing my bathroom for about a month now. The reason why is I have to get a little bit of stuff at a time. Um, because money wise, when I get a couple of dollars, I might go to the Dollar Tree and pick up some things. Or I might pick up some things around the house. And so I can't go out and like buy a whole bunch of stuff because I got all these medical bills. So I have to go around the house and try to come up with ideas of stuff that I already have when I want to redecorate. Um, so it takes me a while to accumulate a lot of stuff to when I redo some things. Like I'm redoing my whole bathroom. So it's taking me a while to accumulate stuff from here. I might pull something from the kitchen. I might pull something when I took something down. Or I might pull something that I have that's old that I'm not using no more that's over there in the corner somewhere. Or that I got in the shed in the back. Who knows? And because my ideas don't come all at once. And you know, it, it come from a different different sources so with that being said the stuff that was already in the bathroom i'm pretty much going to use that so this video gonna be like a haul you know for my bathroom because i really don't know it started vlog haul whatever y'all but anyways this is one of the canisters that was way on top of the of the uh of my shelf that I have in the bathroom and I spray painted it silver. Now this is just the first coat because it obviously needs another coat of spray paint. Um, so I'm gonna do that again today. There was black on the outside and they had those pink and zebra flowers on the inside. Um, so I'm gonna use another coat of spray paint and spray paint these today. 
So, y'all already know where I'm going with that. And I can't I can't show the bathroom yet. Because, obviously, I'm not finished. So, I had two of those. And I bought different color flowers. Which are these. Reds. The dark reds. And I had the bright reds already. This is what I had originally got. I done took this flower off. And, um... This color versus this color. And I just had only this. Then I realized this color was too bright by itself. Because when I looked at the shower curtain, it was red. But it was also with a burgundy-ish undertone or dark red undertone. Um, and I bought, y'all, did I show these in the video last night? I don't know, but these some blingy little things. So I love these. These get that little extra little touch in a room. Um... And like I said before, this is not a holiday bathroom at all. I could care less about decorating my home for the holidays, you know, at this point in my life. I never decorated my inside of my house for the holidays anyway. But anyway, this is a Bath and Body Works um, soap dispenser holder. And I spray painted this again. This thing had started to rust in my bathroom. And, you know, it was rusting all over the place. But it holds my Bath and Body Works soap. I had bought this on clearance last year. Or the after clearance sale or whatever. And um, this is another thing that I had in the bathroom. It was clear. And I spray painted it silver. It was blinged out with some jewels. But I spray painted over them too, child. Um, this is a piece of the toilet paper roll. Now, where the other piece at? Girl. I showed it last night in the other video. But this is, I spray painted it silver. It need another coat too. But I ain't gonna really dwell on this. Because it's the toilet paper gonna be around it. So I can just leave it like that. And these are two jars that I had already blinged out. They was kind of old looking from dust. So I just simply washed them off. And I think I lost one diamond. It ain't no big deal. I lost one diamond. But they still blingy. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. You know, they're just to sit here and there to give like an accent of some sort. Uh, eventually when I think of something. And um, this is that tray that was on the back of the, the toilet. Remember I said I was going, it was black. I washed it in the sink with soap and water. I let it dry and I spray painted it silver. Again, this is not holiday decorations. Because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for holidays. Because... After Christmas, we got summer again, and I'll be redoing it again. Mm-mm. Listen, -mm. child, please. And I know y'all anxiously waiting to see this picture. This is the picture that I had last night. This is how it came out. I said I was going to bling the back here, but I ended up not doing that because I didn't want it to be too much. So what I did end up doing. Oh, my God. Let me see if y'all can get a good. Hold on. Let me move this camera. I'm trying to get y'all a good close-up view of this. I don't know how good it's paying off on camera, but that's what I ended up with. Y'all can see how big it is next to me, so. Um, if it's coming in clear, I'll show y'all a close-up of that in a minute. And, oh, sorry, y'all. And these are some Ciroc bottles. Ciroc and my husband drank liquor in a long time ago. He always keep his bottles. And he usually puts keeps his bottles for his peppers. Because he some kind of hot pepper sauce. So he put like hot peppers in it. And um, I don't know. Some kind of hot stuff that he like to eat on greens. But I blinged it out. This is my first time blinging out a bottle. I don't know how good I, I did. But I was kind of like eh. But I only had the red flowers in there. But then Poopy said that she didn't like it with just the red. So I, I, I added some darker red flowers in it. I know it may look silly now, but I think it'll look good in the bathroom. I think so. I think so. I'm not sure yet. I ain't even put it together. But if it don't, I can always change these out. I can always change them out because they just really just stuck down in there. I didn't glue them in there or nothing. I just put them in there. And I have two of those. This is what it looks like um, without anything in it. So I can always change my mind and go back with those. Okay, so I have that trash can I've been showing y'all. I spray painted it silver. See, see what it looks like now? Just silver. And I did spray paint the inside, but as y'all can see, it look a mess. 
The reason why it looked like this on the inside is because I had cleaned it out and I washed it out and it was still wet. So the water was dripping down. So I'm going to spray paint another coat of spray paint on the inside. And um, hopefully that will clear a lot of that up. It don't got to be, you know, perfect on the inside. But I want it, I want it to look neater than that on the inside. But um, it looks good on the outside. And y'all already know I'm thinking about blinging this thing out too. I just can't let it be plain. If everything else going to have sparkle, why not? Okay, now on to the shower curtain. The main attraction in the bathroom. I ordered this shower curtain. First of all, I ordered my shower curtain. Um, I have a, I had a, I downloaded a video last night. So if you didn't catch that video, please go to my channel and watch my last video. Um, it's called Pushing Through the Pain. Yeah, yeah. So just telling y'all how I feel. Y'all thank y'all for the comments and you know I'm going through them right now as we speak. But I've been trying to do this video. But anyways, I got this shower curtain off Amazon. It's an 84 inch long shower curtain. Uh, what you call this? Panel? Or back split? I don't know what you call this thing. But it go behind the shower curtain. Um, back splash. I don't know, child. I don't forget. But it's, it's, it's an 84 inches in length. And it goes behind the shower curtain. I got a white one in color because... I realize that every time I get a when I when I get a white one, it makes whatever color the shower curtain is, the actual curtain, stand out just a little bit more. Depending on the color of your shower curtain, somebody might want clear because they come in clear also. But this is the shower curtain. This is just gonna be a little glimpse of the shower curtain because I can't show you the whole thing. But these are the colors that's in it. Red, um, I think they call poppies. That's what they, that's what the thing said. I think the description said poppy seed or something shower curtain and I picked this out um y'all just gonna have to wait till I reveal the whole bathroom okay so stay tuned to my channel when I do my whole bathroom reveal um because I got to finish doing a lot of this stuff okay y'all remember this on the back of the sink it had started to rust and now as I flip it over I can see that it was like rusted under the bottom too a little bit so I might just give it another coat of spray paint underneath um, just to ease my mind but the top part looks great um, when I spray paint it silver I see a few more little rust spots but hey this is in perfect condition I got this from walmart.com a long time ago years ago when I had first did the pink bathroom and um what happened was, I mean, what I was going to say, they have those at the Dollar General. And y'all know I still got on Bath and Body Rich Candles things. I haven't done anything with them yet because I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm doing so much. I'm doing so much and I have to stop when I get tired. That's one thing. I have to stop. So it might, it's taking me a long time because um, I get tired quick so as soon as I feel tired I need to stop and lay down that's that's for real I, I have to stop and lay down just just happens that way now okay big head okay and I got this bath mat it's red it says extra long bath mat I got this from Amazon and it's 39 inches long um, it says it's 30% longer than standard bath mats. I got it because of that reason. Because it's longer than most bath mats. Um, oh, it actually is. Oh, it is. I never stretched it out before. But it's kind of, it's long. It's long. <laughs> it's long. So, hopefully, it's going to fit the whole bathtub. Because, I got that because the men in my life right now, you know, they have a hard time cleaning up behind themselves sometimes, you know. And I ain't got time to be going there scrubbing no tub all the time. Um, so, they clean up behind themselves. But, you know, don't nobody clean like Mama clean. She always cleans the best. So, and I got these little towel things. What these is? Girl, these wash rags. Lord Jesus. Why, what y'all call them? Wash cloths? We call them wash rags. Um, where I'm from. But y'all already know. I think that's about Oh, listen, let me tell y'all this. 
it's okay to take your time when you're spending a little money. Don't spend all your money at one time. It's okay to take your time if you feel like you need to redo your bathroom or what what have you. If it takes you two, three months to gather up your stuff, then you do that. You get a little bit of time, throw it in the closet, and then you go on about your little life. And then when you get a little extra change to do a little bit more, you do a little bit. But when you do it, do it still in decency and in order. And I mean, as far as get you some stuff that's on clearance and get you some stuff from the Dollar Tree and you'll be good to go. So I got all of these towels for the bathroom. These came from Ross though and they was $1.99 each. And guess what? I got two at a time. I literally went in Ross and spent $4 and I just came home and I put it in the closet. And then when I got four more dollars, five, I think I had, when I got five dollars, and I just happened to be on that side of town. I didn't just like get five dollars and go all the way to Ross. And I just got these two. So I got four of these. Four of these? Yeah, I got two of each. And I got this one. Now I might got too many bathroom towels, but I don't know if I'm gonna use all these because we might end up using some of them just to bathe with if I got too many or decorate on the back of the toilet. And I had two different color grays. Because as you can tell, my shower curtain got some grayish, hold on, got some dark grayish and light grayish colors in it. On one side of it, you know, so I was trying to match, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't get it perfect. And I got all of those from Ross at different times. Okay, so my dilemma... My dilemma with my thing in my bathroom with this. Hold up. The thing that I showed y'all the last time that hold all the toothpaste and stuff on the on the rack. Now, I got that. Okay. I got this rack thing. And I had one to the Dollar Tree. Did I bling them out or what? You know, this this the whole the toothbrushes and the toothpaste. And I will show y'all these once I get them, get once I figure out what I'm gonna do with them. I got a lot of bling, and I just want to bling out everything. I've been watching this uh, this YouTube stuff for so long that I just want to I just want a blingy bathroom. That's what my the whole thing was to bling, but I needed to pop a color in it like red because I didn't want to just do a silver straight silver bathroom with bling, but. Uh, I got some ideas up my sleeve, but I don't know, y'all. That's what I'm doing this morning. This is what I'm doing today. Today is Monday, December the 12th, maybe, 2017. It might be the 11th. I don't know what day is, but it's Monday. I know that. So, um, Scooby just got on the bus, and I'm going to sit here and do as much as I can until I get tired. Oh, by the way, I'm sending bunnets off. Um, between today and tomorrow, which is today is Monday, and tomorrow is Tuesday. Hopefully, I'm going to get to send them off today when I feel these last little bit of orders that I have left, and then we're going to get back on the bunny business again. I will be making more bunnies, so stay tuned to my channel um, so you don't miss out. And if you still want to get a bunny that you and you have not already gotten one. Look at the link in my description box. I'm going to leave it down there below so you can still purchase your bonnet. Trust me, every order that I got, I received. I'm so I'm so thankful for you guys um, for believing in me that I could, you know, even put out a bonnet. I don't know. I guess having faith in me to even order a bonnet in the first place. But, um, anyways, that's all I have to say in this video. The very next video... I'm going to be revealing the bathroom. Oh, and that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.